Well, hello, friends of the H3 Church. Last week was a wonderful one, and I'm grateful for the good weather we've had and for the enormous work that each one of your pastors put into Holy Week last week. Each of them went above and beyond the call of duty to make our Monday Thursday love feast, our Good Friday service, and Stations of the Crosswalk, and our Easter Sunday service come together. I want to say a special thanks to Nick Bollinger, who was the brainchild behind the Stations of the Cross, and uh, who helped pastors Mikhail and Banning put the whole thing together. Easter Sunday was amazing. We had more people at our church than we have ever had at our church before. The field where people worshipped was packed. People were everywhere, and the weather was fantastic. And I am so grateful for such a great day. Well, we've been in a pandemic so long that it's felt like we've been in Lent forever. In fact, we had to skip Easter last year as we were sheltered in place. So we've gotten out of the habit of practicing resurrection, but here we are coming up to the second week of Easter, and this is a good long season. So let's practice it, and let's practice it together. One of the ways that we do this practice is by coming to worship and hearing what is going on. And very rarely do I preach the announcements, but I'm going to this week. There's some really important things that we need to talk about as a community and as a faith family. And for some reason, people forget that Easter is a season and think of it only as a day. So while Easter is always the highest attended Sunday, the Sunday after Easter is always the lowest. But if you can, I want you to make it this week. We need you to. The weather is going to be fabulous. So come be with friends and enjoy letting the sun shine on your face because together we will be discussing some important stuff as we move into the summer, and we don't want you or your family to miss any of the details. Your leadership, your board leadership has been prayerfully planning and praying for this, and we look forward to talking about it together. Well, Eugene Peterson says that the church that practices resurrection is a colony of heaven in a country of death. And as sorrow has been seen all around us this last year, you, the 8th Street Church, have been a bright spot. I'm thankful for you. So grace and peace to you, friends, and I look forward to our time together on Sunday.